بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از محمد یاسر ریاض اینڈ مائی رجسٹریشن نمبر از ایس پی ٹوینٹی ون ڈی سی ایس زیرو ٹوینٹی سکس اینڈ ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از رول اینڈ امپیکٹ آف پاکستان ان سوویت افغان وار سو بفور گوئنگ ٹو آور مین ٹاپک لیٹ می گیو یو این اوور ویو آف سوویت افغان وار سو وائی ڈیڈ سوویت انویڈیڈ افغانستان دیر وار مینی ریزنس فار سوویت ٹو انویڈ افغانستان but one of the main reason was to establish a communist party rule in afghanistan so what is communism communism is a political ideology which states that from each according to his ability to each according to his needs this ideology was given by a german philosopher karl marx in 1848 in his book the communist manifesto soviets invaded afghanistan to increase their influence in south asian and central asian region of the world Here is the picture of the map I have attached which shows the invasion of Soviet in Afghanistan. As Soviet invaded Afghanistan, they overthrew the former government in Afghanistan and formed a communist party rule. By doing so, they were trying to influence their ideology. As from 1940s to 1980s, the Soviets and USA were each other enemies. So both of these powerhouses of the world were trying to influence the world. with their own ideology where america and its ally were on the other side with their capitalist ideology where russia and its allies with their communist ideology as communist people believes on borderless and classless society meaning there is no religion no caste system and no class is in the communist people so according to communist people the world should be ruled under a single state rule Now here comes the reason for Pakistan to fight in Soviet Afghan war as Soviets were increasing their land so fast there were no time that when they would attack Pakistan to get to the warm waters at that time the president of Pakistan General Zia ul Haq got the sense of this danger and the president of Pakistan decided to go into the war with Soviet in Afghanistan so they can push away them even before coming to pakistan in april 1978 the afghanistan central government headed by mohammad daud khan was overthrown by left wing military officer nur mohammad tareki the people's democratic party of afghanistan was in power with marxist leninist ideology the new government which had latest support formed close ties with Soviet Union and launched ruthless purges of all domestic opposition and began extensive land and social reform which were bitterly resisted by devoted Muslims and largely anti-communist population. The USA and Saudi Arabia helped Afghanistan largely with financial aid and also Saudi Arabia declared jihad. That's how the Muslims from all around the world participated in Soviet Afghan jihad. Muslim being very religious participated in this jihad fully with their hearts us being the eternal enemy of ussr supported afghan mujahideen and their jihad usa aided mujahideen with armory money and food to fight soviets this jihad was supported by egypt uk usa western germany china and saudi arabia and also pakistan here is the picture of flow chart that i have taken from the wikipedia which shows the channeling of money and weapon provided by an ISI officer Muhammad Yusuf in his book Afghanistan the Bear Trap the defeat of superpowers where he writes the US sports supported Afghanistan with almost 250 million dollars and Saudi Arabia contributed the same amount according to a Pakistani journalist Muhammad Ahmed Rashid the Soviet Union contributed approximately 5 billion dollars per year in Afghanistan Operation Cyclone was the code name for the United States Central Intelligence Agency program to arm and finance the mujahideen in Afghanistan to from 1979 to 1989 with the american and saudi aid the isi started training the pro islamist group isi built up a pashtun based strong guerrilla force to counter the soviet invaders every information that i have given in this video has given with the sources in the link in every slide as soviet invasion started in afghanistan the common person living in afghanistan started fleeing from their homeland to neighboring countries like pakistan iran and bhutan and other countries so that's how pakistan became a home to over a million refugees 
about 1.5 million officially registered Afghan refugees were reported to be living in Afghanistan in addition to approximately 1 million more unregistered refugees. This picture shows a Afghan refugee fleeing with his family from fighting entering Pakistan near border in Peshawar in, in May 1980. Pakistan gave a refuge to many Pashtun communities to migrate from Afghanistan to Pakistan's northern eastern area. Since Pakistan helped the freedom fighter of Afghanistan to fight against Soviet Union and their current government in Afghanistan, the Khad Afghan Security Service under the leadership of Muhammad Najibullah carried out a large number of operations against Pakistan. In 1987, 127 incident resulted in 234 deaths in Pakistan. Also in April 1988, an ammunition depot outside the Pakistani capital of Islamabad was blown up, killing 100 and injuring more than 1,000 people in, in Pakistan. This disaster is known as Ojri Camp Disaster, which happened in April 1988. Soviet fighters and Democratic Republic of Afghanistan Air Force bombers occasionally bombed Pakistani villagers and alongside the Pakistani Afghan border. All of this had a heavy impact on Pakistan and its effect continued to this day. Pakistan, by supporting the Mujahideen, played a significant role in withdrawal of Soviet military personnel from Afghanistan. Since India supported Soviet in Soviet of one war, Pakistan was afraid there might come a time when they had to fight a two-front war thread from the northwest in Afghanistan if Soviet invasion was succeeded and from East Indian side. So Pakistan had to fight Soviet before reaching the Pakistani border. And with that sentence, the topic of my two-day discussion is concluded. And thank you. Assalamu alaikum.